Hi right, guys, what's up? Welcome back for another video. I am Starko and today uh, we will be ignoring Marvel Future Fight to talk about uh, Android Emulator and specifically uh, about Memu App Player. So before we go inside Memu, uh, I want to give you my little feedback on uh, Android Emulators. Uh, I first started with uh, Andy. Uh, that was shit. Uh, it's not even worth talking about. After that, I went with BlueStack for a few months. Performances were pretty on the down. Uh, and it was getting worse with every update. So I ended up uh, throwing away. Plus, uh, for the joystick on the, the left of... Uh, well, if we talk about Mario Future for a game. Uh, it wasn't uh, working 100%. So, I threw that away. Looked the internet, found about Nox App Player. Play with it for uh, like three four months i liked it at the time but wasn't the best performances i could wish for so uh, one day i found about memu app player memu app player uh, amazing performances better than most uh, phones uh, no lag compatible with i will say about 95 percent of the game so that's what I'm using. So if you want to look it up, you type the address menu play like that on your web browser. That'll get you there. You click on download, download it. It's already on my computer, so I'm not going to click on it. And you can look it up. Here's the benchmark. Uh, like you can see, a blue stack benchmark at the 58,000. Uh, and my menu uh, bench. Benchmark around 100,000. Don't ask me what those uh, those number mean, but higher the number is, the better it is, and I can prove, I can say by experience that it's really true. Uh, so that's for the benchmark. It's compatible with uh, Intel, AMD, and integrated uh, graphic cards. Uh, it's compatible uh, with NVIDIA graphic cards too. Let's see it. <laughs> uh, it's compatible with only Windows 7, XP, 8, and 10. Uh, you probably can bypass it on Macs and maybe Linux, but uh, I'm, uh, I don't know about those, and I won't say anything that I cannot confirm. So that's for the compatibility. You can run many instances at the same time. If you have uh, five counts you want to play at the same time, you can, as long as your computer uh, can support the... Uh, the memory to do it then you can configure your keyboard mouse uh, joystick everything you want on the screen which is pretty great so now that you guys download it uh, you open your folder and you uh, double click on it and you install follow the installation progress process and that's pretty much that so uh, we're going to start by opening multi menu it's a multi instances or multiplayer if you want to call it like that uh, usually you have one which is your main and you can click on create emulator and make more of them if you want to so now we're going to start it and there we go it's opening you let it load like any other thing so now you it's open you can set up uh, a wallpaper if you want you just have to open your folder go in the download but that's the way i did it i open menu download i paste the picture there that i wanted in my background and my wallpaper and then uh i went in my uh, ES File Explorer, I found the picture, I uh, right click on it and apply as wallpaper. So that's pretty much what I did. Uh, if you want to close an application, you and you're in full screen, for example, let's do this. You go on the right side, open the bar. You just put your mouse on the right side and click on the, you know, the little bar that just pop. Uh, square at the bottom and you hold your mouse over the application you want to close and you click on remove from list so now for example you're loading a game 
I already have all my keys set up, but I'm going to explain to you how to do it. So, we're going to load the game first, then we're going to enter in the in the mission just so that we have all the buttons that need to be pressed during the game and we can set up all the buttons that uh, we have to. And it's pretty simple, guys. So, first mission whatever i don't care what we're going to do because uh, we're going to cancel it anyway because uh, it's just to show up so first i'm going to delete my own system except and we're going to do it again well it was on local play give me a second guys i'm just going to uh, clear that Sorry about that. Well, you can't see the performances at the same time, so that's pretty good. Now, if the mobs could stop spawning, I could actually set my stuff. There we go. So, now we're going to... You open the right bar, you press on the keyboard, and uh, if you want just to put a button... You actually just click on it and put the, the key behind you want. Like here, I want four. Uh, here, I want three. Here, I want two. Here, I want one. Here, I want five. Here, I want seven. Here, I want space bar. Here, I want zero. Here, I want eight. Here, I want nine. Then to have uh, to go over here, like you can see. Uh, you want the direction pad, so you get your dimension pad, you get it smaller at first. But I try to center it the better you can the best you can. Then put the all direction arrow rare that you can see like that. Yeah. Well done. After there. And you just expanded the size you need to be for your game. And that's pretty much how you set it guys. So, and now, look, I'm using AWSD uh, keys, and I have a side button mouse with all the keypad, and I can just press button, so I'm going to show you some gameplay using that stuff. Like here, I'm pressing the space bar just to normal attack, a 5 on my mouse just to do that. You know, you can set all the keybind you want, and pretty much... I'm all set now. It took me about 30 seconds to set my buttons. I can play with uh, like I will play any other computer game. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's for people you wanted to try it, that's how you do it. Okay, now let's get out of there. Well, actually, we can just close the game. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, go through the regular settings. Click on the settings here. Uh... Everybody shall have at least a dual core, so it support maximum two CPU. You do it. Usually, it will start with uh, 1024 uh, RAM. Uh, I put it to 4096. Could put more if I wanted to. You set your screen size minus 440 uh, by 900. So I do that. Um, advance uh, not much. Uh, you can enable root mode or not, uh, enter a notification. I need to check that out. Uh, you can sync your time. That I forgot to do before. Uh, it's pretty much that. You have uh, your folder where your stuff is going. Uh, so you can change it to whatever you want. You can enable a GPS if uh, your computer uh, have it good. You have shortcuts uh, that show you a few things. You can go through it uh, if you want, guys. It's up to you. Then you save when you're done. And that's pretty much it for uh, that. And when you start it for the first time uh, to download your game, you're going to go on Play Store. Then it will take you to the process to create it to uh, linking your uh, Google Play account. You can link it and then you start like any other thing so guys i hope that this video was helpful for some people 
Uh, if you have any uh, additional question you need me to answer, uh, there's a comment section below. Uh, ask me anything, comment on anything. I will get back to you guys the best I can. And just to make it clear, guys, I do not work for Mimu. I am no part of that. I'm just a fan who's doing a video to help people around. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.